If you wanna create content that converts, you need to hear this. We're gonna talk about how to deliver your message to the right people. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, conversion strategist. I help coaches, consultants, and online service providers get clients consistently without social media burnout and scale with evergreen systems and strategies. Today, we're talking about the awareness level of your audience. Awareness level of your audience should determine how you're going to deliver your message. So where is your ideal client in your niche? How much do they know? What is their awareness level? This is very important when you're creating content and delivering your message the right way. If you think about the awareness level of your audience, then how you say what to say should be different depending on the awareness levels. There are five awareness levels in marketing. Number one, unaware. They're unaware that they have a problem. Number two, they're problem aware, but they're not aware of the solutions and everything else. Number three is solution aware. They're aware that they need to have a solution. They need to fix this problem, but they don't know of the tools. They know that there are solutions for it, but they don't know of the tools or products or strategies. And number four is the product aware, the tool aware, strategy aware. These are people who are aware of the problem. They, they need to fix the problem. They know that there are solutions for it. They know that there are products, tools, strategies for it. So that is your uh, product aware, tool aware. And number five is your system aware. That's your most aware, all right? They're aware of the problem. They need to fix the problem. They need to solve it. Uh, they're aware of different solutions. They're aware of different products and tools and strategies there are. And now they need something bigger. They need a whole system, right? So why is this important? This is very important because it's gonna change the way you are wording your content and how you're explaining about it, right? Because someone who's not even aware of the problem that they have versus someone who's aware of the problem, the solutions, the tools, and everything that else there, that there is, it's not really gonna serve them both, that same piece of content. Now, you can serve different awareness levels, but you can't do that within the same content. Your content needs to be adjusted depending on who you want to attract with that piece of content, right? Let me give you an example from my business. I talk a lot about copy that converts, right? So if I was to be talking to an unaware audience or just a problem aware audience, they may not know the word copy or conversion, right? So when I say copy that converts, I'm not really speaking to that brand new entrepreneur. I'm speaking to someone who's been doing this a little bit and who knows some of the marketing terms, who knows that they need to work on their copy and such. Now, if I was to speak to the unaware or, or just problem aware audience, then I would word it differently and say maybe um, write posts that will attract clients because the verbiage is a lot more simple. It's more, more in Lehman terms. There's not much of the, um, the advanced terminology. So a, a brand new entrepreneur would understand writing a post to attract clients, but they may not understand what copy that converts mean as they may not be aware of what copy is in this context and they may not know what conversion is in this context right so that's why it's very very important how you say what you say it let me give you an example from my life as far as the stages of awareness goes all right this is years ago when i started my business things were moving so slow and a lot of things were left halfway not much was getting done and i was just thinking oh well It'll get done when it gets done. And I wasn't even aware that this was a problem at first because I just thought that's how it went. And at this stage, I was unaware, right? Completely unaware that I had a problem. 
<laughs> when it hit the fan, that's when I realized I do have an organizational issue in my business. That's when I was problem aware, right? Once I realized I have this organizational issue, once I realized I had a problem, now I had to look into solutions. When I looked into solutions, I realized there are different project management tools, right? So I realized there are solutions, there are project management tools, there are, there are um, journals, there are reminders, there are calendars and things like this. And that's when I became solution aware. Now I knew that there were different solutions, but what were the tools, the products, the, the real strategies or platforms that could have helped me? So then I started looking into this and I became tool aware, product aware by finding Asana, one of the project management, well, the only project management tool we use in my business. Once I found Asana, as a person who is great with systems and breaking down systems and, and, and building different systems, I really liked it, but I realized if I wanted to scale and make this work, then I needed a system. At that point, I was already using Asana. I was already tool and product aware, but I knew because now I was the most aware, I needed a more efficient and more effective system to manage our projects at a scale. That's when I was the most aware. I was the system aware. So that's when I went and uh, got into this program in order to learn more ways and having a system um, in managing our projects in Asana itself. And that's when I was the most aware. I was the system aware because I could use Asana already, but I needed a system that was gonna make it more effective, more efficient, that was gonna help us use this project management system at a scale, right? And that's when I signed up for Lewis Henry's program and that helped me a whole lot. Now, when I was at a stage, that the unaware stage, when I first started my business and things weren't really getting done, if someone came up to me and said, hey, use Asana, and by the way, use uh, Lewis Henry's system to uh, manage your projects in there. Would that make any sense to me? No, because I didn't even know that I had the problem. I didn't even know what a tool like Asana did, or I didn't even know what a, a, a system, a program like Bruce Henry's would give me, right? So that would be literally crickets of me saying, okay, great, right? And I wouldn't be a warm lead to sign up for Asana, or I wouldn't be a warm lead to even sign up for Louis Henry's program, right? In our content, we can educate our target audience by creating the content that aligns with their awareness level. So if you're starting with the unaware audience, then the type of content you create and the way you deliver the message would be more aligned with the pain points of a beginner. The would be aligned with um, helping them discover what type of problem they have and that there are solutions for this problem and then moving them onto the steps of awareness. So that's why it's very, very important how we deliver our message and our content. When you think about the awareness level of your target audience and create content accordingly, um, by using their pain points, their keywords, their 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 phrases that they, that you, they use, you're gonna be able to meet them where they are, and that actually starts the understanding. That starts building the like and trust because we are now familiar with where you're talking about. It's not if your content is way too advanced and you're using so much terminology then you're not going to be attract you're not going to be able to attract those people and at some point if your content is more advanced than the people that you can serve you're going to attract the wrong people let me know in the comments below what's the awareness level of your ideal client are they unaware are, are they problem aware are they solution aware are they uh, product aware or are they most aware let me know in the comments below See you next time.